CAG342 Introduction to Molecular Spectroscopy by Dr. M. S. T. Nadir. Lecture 1. What is spectroscopy? Cause outlines. Spectroscopy, rational microwave, vibrational, rational vibrational infrared and electronic spectroscopy. Then, for each of the four of the above cover, properties of molecules, energy expressions, selection rules, relative population in the energy levels, photochemistry, photophysical and photochemical processes, production and fate of electronically excited molecules, photochemical reactions and photochemical kinetics. Recommended textbooks, Fundamentals of Molecular Spectroscopy by Banuel C.N. Physical Chemistry by P.W. Atkins. Lecture 1. The study of light emitted, absorbed or scattered. Light passing through matter interacts with the electronic field of atoms and molecules in matter. This results in absorption, emission, transmission, or scattering of the radiation. What is light? Light is an electric field at right angles with a magnetic field made of particles known as H nu. Here we have the blue curve representing the electric field while the red curve represents the magnetic field. Direction of propagation is in the x-axis direction, while the amplitude is in the y-direction. Light passing through a material is transmitted, scattered, and absorbed. As seen here, the incident radiation is here. It enters the material that is absorbed that and that transmit through, and this and that are scattered. How do we perform experiments for this kind of system? Here is a schematic outline of a typical experimental setup. We have the source, which produces the radiation. The radiation strikes the sample. Then the sample goes to a dispersion prism or a grating, which separates the colors or the wavelengths. This then go to the detector or photomultiplier where they are amplified or detected. Now the detected information is now taken to a recorder or to a computer. Be Lambert's law. When incident monochromatic light I0 passes through a medium of length L, the intensity of the transmitted light IT is given by IT is equal to I0 exponential into minus kappa CL. Kappa is a molar Hyperion absorption coefficient. C is the concentration of the absorbing medium. And the transmittance is given as IT over I0, which is equal to exponential minus KCL. Absorbance A. We use decadic A and is defined as a is equal to log the base 10 of 1 over t, which is equal to log the base 10 of i0 over it, which can be looked at as kcl over 2.3 or 3, or it can be looked at as eta cl. Eta is the molar decadic absorption coefficient. A plot of A, the absorbance, versus C, the concentration, is linear with the slope eta l. Let's look at the electromagnetic radiation EMR. This consists of oscillating electric and magnetic field perpendicular to each other as given in the diagram of the blue and the red earlier to each other and to the direction of propagation. It's characterized by frequency nu, which could be cycles per unit time, wavelength lambda, which could be centimeters, nanometers, microns, distance between each complete oscillation defines the wavelength. 
Frequency is often in wave numbers and is given by new bar, which is equal to 1 over lambda, which is equal to new over c, where c is the speed of light. We could also look at as e is equal to h nu, which is hc nu, and then, then nu bar would become hc over lambda. Electromagnetic spectrum. Normally we joke about this by saying it is much more plus the visible light, implying that the visible light we look at is an extremely tiny part of the electromagnetic spectrum. When you look at it all, you find it will include X-rays, ultraviolet, infrared, microwave, and radio waves. Now, different interactions between electromagnetic radiations and atomic or molecular fields appear in different regions of, and hence different energies. The diagram is given below. Now here we have the diagram. On the extreme right we have the radio waves whose wavelength is about one meter. Then it's followed by microwave with its wavelength under there. Then the far infrared and the near infrared. And we finally come to our well-known visible region. We then go to the ultraviolet, vacuum ultraviolet, X-rays, gamma rays, and cosmic rays. Now you can see above this line, we have molecular rotations in microwave sections. Molecular vibration is in the infrared section while electronic excitations is in the visible region and ultraviolet. Then the core electron excitation is in the X-rays, and the nuclear excitation is in gamma rays.